here we'll talk about rubella cataract before we go into it it is a congenital disease right rubella is a torch infection which is a congenital disease if the pregnant mother gets infected with the rubella she may pass it to the kid and the kid develops rubella syndrome it is a triad of deafness cataract and congenital heart diseases like ventricular septal defect patel ductal arteriosus etc other than cataract the other ocular uh, defects which can be included in the rubella syndrome are salt and pepper chorioretinopathy microphthalmos cloudy cornea and poor dilating pupil and the ear defect which is associated in the rubella syndrome is deafness because of the damage to the organ of corti and now coming to the rubella cataract it is a congenital type that means mother to child vertical transmission is there and i want you to remember ruby is a diamond right we all know it ruby is a diamond other than diamonds we can also see pearls and different things right so basically remember in the rubella cataract something pearl remember this word pearl so the child is born with a pearly white nuclear cataract that means the lens is pearly white you can see in this image the lens is pearly white and it is a nuclear type of cataract we'll also talk about it later so the lens may get uh, soft or liquefied this rubella virus harbors up to 2 years so even on the removal of this rubella cataract several inflammatory reactions can occur because of the virus still present in the body and congenital obesity occurs in the fetal or the embryonic nucleus that's why we call it as a nuclear cataract because it is occurring in the nucleus part of the lens if the nucleus of the crystalline lens is involved then it is called as nuclear cataract and in the rubella because it is a congenital type basically the opacity in this cataract is involved to the fetal and the embryonic layers 